All right. Well, we made it to Alaska. There's a hell of it already, buddy. And that's what we're going after one of these days, some halibut. And we just traveled to Minneapolis. Dustin drove down from Fargo, and we're meeting up with John. I've got to go get our bags right now, and stay tuned. This is going to be an Alaskan adventure. Just waiting on that green bag. All right, let's go, bud. Here, let's go. We got Sam, what up, big 30-inch walleye club. 30 oh. inch, baby, what up? We got John Lehman, big 28-inch walleye club. Oh. Not as cool as Sam, but you know. Hey, we some So we got here, we're hanging out with Sam, John, Dustin. We're gonna be doing a lot of fishing the next week. And I think we're gonna be going soon, so I'm gonna give you that after him. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> All right, well, we've landed in Alaska. Our ride has arrived. And we're gonna go fishing. I think we're gonna go after grayling, right? Grayling, rainbows, and there's a potential you might accidentally hook a king. Oh, that'd be a shame. It would be a shame. Well, never caught any salmon ever in my life, so hopefully I'm not terrible at fishing for them, but hopefully we can learn quickly and get her dialed in. Stay tuned. We're gonna be snagging pretty soon. All right, well, we've made it to the first spot. We've had about an hour and a half drive or so here. So we're just getting everything ready, getting the dry bags, waders, all the rods geared up. And hopefully we can catch some little, what are these things called again? Grayling. Arctic grayling. Arctic grayling. I'm the professional here. <laughs> Shush, John. So we got a little walk and we're gonna get down there and hopefully catch some fish. But. So we're walking through a path, trying not to die from bears. Um, we're already lost. Yeah, usually I'd jump in over there. Got a whole bunch of boys. And we're going uh, after some grayling. So see, as long as we can find our way there. There she be. All right, well, we've made it to the spot. Is there any fish in here, dude? Pretty cool. Little spot here. So we'll uh, strap up and see if we can't catch something. All right. All right. See all the foam, like the white shit? Oh, yeah. I just want to toss them there. Oh, good. This wind is going to be good. Yeah. But how do you do this? Once it dies down a little bit here, punch your rod for Dustin. How do we do this? You're not casting very far. This wind's going to make it fucking fun. See your fly floating on top. Oh, there. yeah, I see her. Okay, just you do a little. Do, you can do little roll casts, it's like the easiest. Or like a little backhand one like that. Oh, okay. But, and so, like, you want to keep not as much like line out because when you get a bite, you'll see your fly go down. You want to hold on to the line, sure, and hook like that, but not like too much. Okay, um, fly right now. <laughs> Dustin's, Dustin's got on one. already. Let's go. Oh, god, get him out of there. All right, give me that freaking yep. rod, John. There you go, brother. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. This is brutal. This is brutal. I already caught my waders. I got one. I got, got one. one. Yep. What do I do? Bring him in. That's a good one. Just strip it. Hold it with your this one. Okay. Yeah, you Just go. like that. Okay. There you go. Can I hold these things or what? Yeah. You can just manage it. All right. Whoa! Look at that, dude. We caught ourselves 
a grayling. Look at that guy. Beautiful little species. I don't want to lip him like a bass or nothing here, but okay. See you later. Oh gosh. Look at these. It's like I'm a born fly fisherman. Oh, well, the already on. But we're gonna watch Dustin release his chunk. Look at that. Alright. Now I gotta figure out how to where to put this rod. Alright, another beautiful little grayling. Look at the Alright, see you later. I'm gonna say look at the fins on that thing, dude. That's crazy. I can't even see my fly. They're like, look at your fly. I'm just looking at my line to make sure. I just watch my line like I basically watch a Sanko. You just watch your line run and set the hook. So that's what we're going to keep doing. And hopefully that goes good. I'm just watch the master at work here. Look at this guy. All right, so he's just teaching me how to use this kind of more properly, and he caught one right away on it, and he swallowed it, so we got to get it out with the players here. I was just trying to show you how to cast. <laughs> he ate it while I was pulling it out. Is that like a typical size? It's small. Small. Yeah. All right, so this stuff, it's called gink. This stuff makes your stuff float. It repels water. You just spray some oh. of that good good on there. Oh. Rub it in there. Mm. Then it should float. All right. You're good to go. Let's see I if want that. Big uh, out of you. Dude, I, I I'm getting somewhere. I think, John. That was a that was cool. That one came up out of the water and crushed it. Look at that. Oh, sorry, I just bass flip them all, bud. That's what I do here. If you want to hold that, though, that'd be cool. You can grab these things, right? All right, well, little sucker minnow. All right, we're gonna throw this guy back. All right, well, we are getting a few, and well, I've caught, I don't know, maybe four or five, all pretty small ones. I have no idea what, like, the common size is on these things, but we're getting her done. We're going to keep grinding her out. Hopefully, we can catch something a little bit bigger, and I'm excited for the next couple days because these, I know, are, like, the smaller fish that we're going to catch, so it's going to be pretty awesome. Check this out. <laughs> this is fun to watch. That is a nice one, dude. That might be my biggest ever. Holy crap, Caleb. That's a freaking dandy, bro. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Be nice to me. Look at hey, that. I might hold the net just yeah. so if I drop it. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Wow. What a beauty of a. There we go.
just a giant jambalaya. All right, John caught his PB. 15 incher, baby. Look at that toe, dude. We're gonna let him go, though. See you later, bye. Dude, nice. All right, well, that is probably gonna wrap up this video. Something kind of cool, caught a few grayling and uh, some other, the other boys caught some pretty nice ones. John caught his PB, he said. Uh, the other guy caught like a nice 15 inch or something like that. So pretty cool scenery out here. We hiked a little bit through the woods. Um, and basically what we were just fishing is like a deeper slack water. The rest of it is just like a high current. I don't know what this guy's doing. And uh, the rest downstream is just uh, really currenty as well. So a little bit deeper pool. And they're in here. It's kind of weird. Um, a lot of them you'll see will come up into the surface. They'll like literally eat your leader line. It's like so dumb, but um, they'll come up and surface and you think they're on your fly, but they're not, or they come up and miss it or something like that. But something cool, something to knock off the bucket list of another species to catch. Um, so I'm really excited for the next few days here. Hopefully we can catch some. Uh, I think we're gonna go after some sockeye, a red salmon. Uh, that's gonna be really fun. And I can't wait to eat a bunch of salmon while I'm up here. So thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one doing some more Alaskan adventures.